Computer tutorial. <laughs> okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get video files to play on your computer. Occasionally, you might get a video file that won't play on your computer because Microsoft don't make a very good media player. It don't have all the codecs that uh, that you need to play uh, different uh, video files and stuff. So, uh, I'm going to show you a couple programs that you can use. Um, uh, three of the more popular programs that you can use to uh, watch video files. Um, especially ones that Windows Media Player won't play. Okay, the uh, first program is uh, called VLC. And what you do is go to Google, type in VLC, and do search. Now you can click on it and download it from their site. So we'll click on that one. And then you just click on Download VLC. It'll take you to Switch Forge, and you just save the file. Now when you go to save the file, um, if you have Vista or Windows 7, and you ain't got it to let you pick where to download, it's going to automatically be in your downloads folder. So I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, the uh, desktop to download my file. Now another program I'm going to tell you about before while this is downloading is uh, K-Lite Kodak Pack. Now what K-Lite Kodak Pack, it's also a media player too, but also installs a lot of codecs in, uh, in your computer so that Windows Media Player uh, can play a lot of those, uh, those files that normally can't do. Um, so if you like the, the way Windows Media Player looks looks and uh, you're used to Windows Media Player download and install K-Lite Kodak Pack uh, that way you'll have all the codecs that you need on your computer I would actually install both K-Lite and VLC uh, now VLC is still downloading so let me tell you about another program uh, this other program is called KM Player okay KM Player is also another uh, uh, media player that will play just by all uh, media files just like VLC. Um, personally I don't really like KM player but KM player is a very good player. Uh, a friend of mine which he's also a big time computer geek as well he pretty much uh, stands by this player and he really likes the player. So um, you can go ahead and give them a try. It, it's, a, it's a nice program as well and it's a nice video player. But like I said I personally don't care much. I don't like I just don't like this one. I like VLC. I'm used to VLC. Okay, while VLC is finishing download, I'm going to go ahead and download K-Lite. Uh, now, you can pick wherever you want to download it. If you have your favorite site, you can download You download from there. I like going down to uh, File Hippo and downloading it from there. So, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. By the way, I'll have the link to, the, uh, to these programs down here in the description. Uh, from there, just go ahead and click on Download the Latest Version. Uh, save the file and save it to wherever you like. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do VLC first. I'm going to go ahead and click on VLC and I'm going to click on Run. Okay, I already have that installed. Basically, it's real simple to install. You just click Next, Next. Uh, right here, you want to go to Full and then click Next. And you do the same thing for K-Lite. It's basically almost the same, although it gives you a few more options uh, on video codecs. You can check those if you want. You don't have to. Okay, while this is installing, it's going to uh, come up with the command prompt and then go back out. Don't be scared. And from there, you just click Finish. And basically, this is what the player is going to look like. And, of course, you got Play and all that. And this also does a lot of stuff, too. And now for K-Lite, let's see if we can. I can reinstall this. I already have it in the computer. Okay, it's going to let me. I want to click Next. And then I'm going to go ahead and leave it on Advanced Install. And I'm going to go ahead and do Profiles. I'm going to click on this and go down to Profile 7. Lots of stuff. Uh, and then I'm going to go click Next. Um, uh, next. Don't need to click anything there. Now, this right here, I do not recommend you to click the put a check here. If you want to put a check for an Intel decoder, you can. Um, it won't hurt anything. Then we're going to click Next. And then this right here is going to be checked. Uh, you want to check also on Windows Media Player and then click Next. Now, these right here, you can choose. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose the video extensions. If you want, you can do audio extensions. I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. And if you want, you can click on this one as well. If you choose not to have them, then you, know, you don't have to have them. And then you can check the flash videos if you want that. Um, I just go ahead and check them all, you know, just so that I have all the codecs. And then click Next. 
And the last one is going to be, uh, you know, uh, is it surround sound, stereo, 5.1 surround sound, and so on and so on. Then click next, and then it's going to go ahead and install. Like I said, I already got it, so I don't need to install that. And uh, occasionally, you might get like a little error. Um, that might mean that uh, there was something that was incompatible, uh, but you still got, you know, most of the codecs. It's just you weren't able to, to install uh, a few codecs. Um, or, you, or either that or you didn't need a, a codec. Uh, also, if you have XVID already installed in your computer, it's going to ask you to uninstall that. Uh, just go ahead and install it. It would be fine um, because they got their own codec uh, for that. Uh, anyways, that's it for this video. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.